Imagine feeling chronically ill and being told by a doctor it's all in your head. Well, medically unexplained physical symptoms, or MUPS, is one of the most common problems encountered in modern medicine. It's estimated one in three patients go undiagnosed and untreated. Patrick Aboud from The Feed follows the journey of medical orphans searching for diagnosis. Inside, I feel like I'm dying. My doctors can't explain it. I've been into the hospitals with it. Even though physically I look absolutely fine, I feel like I'm the walking dead. The doctor the other day said they've never seen anybody like me. I am scared of what could happen because I don't have answers. Chloe and Sue are medical orphans chronically ill patients searching for diagnosis. Patients who are medical orphans can't be treated in the hospitals and there is no answer from the specialists. The symptoms that they're experiencing are real and distressing, but the medical profession can't offer them a reason or a rationale. Dr Louise Stone is one of Australia's leading medical educators. She's spent the past 10 years researching medical orphan cases. Some patients have a medically unexplained symptom that comes and goes and is irrelevant. But for patients with the long-term issues, incidents can be as high as one in three. When people have many different symptoms in many different parts of the bodies, it's more likely that there's a disturbance in the regulatory system run by the brain than actually a specific problem in any one of those systems. The reality is that modern medicine is filled with cases like this. Just point where the pains right are. Right here. From the year 2000 right up until now, I've been ill with fatigue, nausea, ice pick headaches, blurred vision, I get lesions on my body, I get rashes, I have ongoing seizures. Over the years I've seen at least 35 plus doctors, I've lost count now, with no answer. Some doctors put her symptoms down to a psychological problem, suggesting it's all in the mind. In my opinion, Susan is medically unwell and it's not in her mind. Back, straight. Dr Belinda Coit has been awarded a Pride of Australia medal for her work with complex patients. She's currently investigating more than 80 cases. Often other family members have much the same problem. Some of the most common medically unexplained physical symptoms, or MUPS, are musculoskeletal complaints, abdominal and chest pain, gastrointestinal problems, fatigue, numbness, dizziness and seizures. Patients who are medical orphans are not only medically isolated, they're often socially isolated because the first reaction when, when you're sick and someone meets you is to say, what's wrong with you? And if you don't have the words, it's very difficult to interact. If you have a diagnosis, you have a place where you belong. So some patients disengage altogether from the medical system because they can't bear to keep coming into a system that invalidates their pain, and that's an awful place to be. Chloe is 20. She's suffering from crippling seizures. She can't eat solid foods and has severe chemical allergies. Her symptoms remain undiagnosed. I can have four seizures a day, which is a fairly common thing for me, it usually happens, and I can be fatigued all day, and that's a normal day for me. Our first visit to the doctor was our local doctor. She ran blood tests, she ordered a CT scan and an MRI scan, and she sent her to a neurologist. The scan and the MRI came back normal, so the doctor suggested seeing a psychologist. The doctor was inferring that it was all in her head. Chloe's mother, Beth, was a nurse for 12 years. She hasn't taken Chloe to see a mental health professional and is convinced her daughter's physical symptoms will only get worse. So one of the problems in medicine is often looking for simplistic explanations in one organ or in one place when there's actually a disturbance of one of the central regulatory systems giving rise to many symptoms that are real and persisting and disabling. And the system that lies at the heart of much of that regulation is the brain. Apart from the suffering of patients, medically unexplained symptoms create huge financial burden. It's estimated the added cost to our healthcare system and economy can be up to $18,000 a person.
often they'll have more and more tests to try and solve the problem that apparently can't be solved. They'll see more and more practitioners because they're more and more unhappy. We also know they'll spend more and more money on alternative tests, on poorly validated tests, on complementary medicine, on anything that might help. So there's cost to the direct healthcare system, there's cost to the indirect healthcare system, there's cost to the person, and because of the degree of disability, there's cost to society.